This group is a great group. I love coaching this team. It's a family affair, both with, with my family and the, we're all family. Family. That's the word Dan Hurley used to describe this team. Today, they truly played like one, like their brother was on the sideline next to them. While we could talk about how dominant they were in the second half defensively and how effective they were shooting the ball, what really won UConn this game was their culture. You can feel the energy. Uh, it just, everybody's all in, we all in. And it's a family over here, so coaches, players, managers, GAs, we all family, cheerleaders, everybody's a family. This UConn nation showed up, so uh, definitely feels great to be a part of this university and, and really be represented on this level. After a blowout win over Arkansas in the Sweet 16, the Huskies had their toughest opponents standing in the way of a Final Four appearance, Drew Timmy and his Gonzaga Bulldogs. The game started out as everybody expected, a true dogfight between some of the country's best. The second half is where things got interesting for the Huskies, however, and as Drew Timmy got into foul trouble early in the half, it gave the green light for the Huskies to run away with this one. Jordan Hawkins began shooting lights out, and with no answer for two of the country's best big men in Adama Sinogo and Donovan Klingon, it turned into a blowout fast. UConn outscored Gonzaga 43-22 in the second half. All of this led to a monstrous win for the Huskies, 82-54, as they move on to their first Final Four appearance since 2014. UConn's back. So. <laughs> back. <Fuck. laughs> The Huskies will play the winner of the Midwest region, either Texas or Miami, next Saturday in Houston. But for now, they celebrate and prepare for their final push towards a national championship. From T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, I'm Keegan Brown, UCTV Sports.